Okay, welcome to SchoolTube, located at schooltube.com. And what is SchoolTube? Uh, SchoolTube is a safe and easy way for students and teachers to share videos. Um, it's an alter it's built as an alternative to YouTube. Um, as we know, YouTube is blocked in many schools. Uh, in my opinion, it should not be. Uh, but in many schools, teachers find YouTube blocked, and especially students find YouTube blocked. So SchoolTube is a good alter alternative. There are other types of services like this, like the other popular one is called TeacherTube.com. The reason I prefer SchoolTube is because the quality of videos is much higher. And the other thing I like is that every video on here is moderated um, or viewed by a teacher, an educator, somewhere. And so the videos that you find on SchoolTube are going to be moderated. They've, been all, they've all been viewed. They're not just thrown up there. And I like that aspect. All right, uh, what I'm going to do is give you kind of a quick overview of what we got going on here. Um, SchoolTube is a place for uh, uploading video by students and teachers. Both can upload video to SchoolTube.com. Um, if you look at the home page, it gives you some kind of highlights of what's going on. A poll, a contest, we'll talk about that in another video. Some of the most uh, popular videos down here. And if you look down here at the bottom, you've got different categories of video um, that people, schools have uploaded to share with the world. I highly recommend you have students create videos and show them and share them with the world. It's a really cool motivating factor and it's a really great, great way for them to show their knowledge. Alright, um, now to get started with SchoolTube, I am going to show you how to sign up. Real simple, you're going to click on sign up. Um, the f thing about SchoolTube is, as an educator, you have to sign up your school. So the very first person from your school, which will probably be you, um, to sign up as an educator will be the first moderator. Now you can have other teachers sign up and they can be moderators as well, but the very first person has to register to the school. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. You click on educator and you search for your school name. I'm just going to do Billy Bob School, which I'm sure will not come up, at least I hope not. And what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to search for it and then you're going to get this link. Still can't find your school slash organization. So now you need to add it. So what you're going to do is you're going to fill out the form. You're going to fill out the school, the address, the city, the county, the zip code, telephone, copy and paste your website in here, and put in the principal's name as well. I'm not going to go ahead and do it because I've already done it from my school and I don't want to have a false school put in here. But what will happen is they will send you an email that the moderators of the site We'll actually check out this information, make sure it's accurate, and then they will prove you to be a moderator for that school. And they'll send you an email to, uh, as well um, that will give you that moderator status and you'll be able to log in with your moderator account. I also want to show you how to sign up students. Students also sign up the same way. Click on sign up, go to student. Again, they have to search for the school. So my school, Jay and Freeze, I'm going to go ahead and put that in. When students sign up for my school, they'll have to put in Jane Freeze and they'll have to click on the school that they have, uh, want to sign up for. Same thing with your other teachers in the building. The first step is to put in the school. Once you've put in the school, then the students or other teachers can put in their first name, last name, choose a username, and put in their email address that they want the confirmation sent to. Also need to put in the birth year. Now this is the sticking point here. Uh, kids have to be 13 years or older to use this site. And then, of course, uncheck that. That will then send an email and approve that account and have it confirmed. Now, students can sign up and they can get uh, their videos uploaded. And then whenever they upload it, they'll moderate it. And I'll show you that in the next video, which is called The Basics. But that's how you sign up for accounts. You have to have the first person that comes in, registers the school, becomes a moderator, and then other people from that school can then sign up for that school. All right, the last thing I want to show you before I get out of here is how to view some of the videos that are on here, some of the how-to videos. If I click on For Educators, it gives you some good information about how you can use SchoolTube in your um, school. It also gives you some, give some how-to videos. These are some things we've already talked about and some of the things we'll talk about in the next video, the basics. But if you have a different alternative, you want to listen to someone else for a while, or see how they do it. You can check out these videos and you've also got some user guides here. PDF files. 
All right, so that is how to get started with SchoolTube. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to upload a video. I'm going to show you how to moderate videos, how a student can upload videos to a school account, and how the comments work, and how the school page works. So that'll be in the next video, the basics. Thank you.